This video will demonstrate how Sencha Test can be used to easily add and execute tests for applications built on Sencha platforms. Sencha Test enhances the most popular open source testing frameworks, such as Jasmine, Selenium WebDriver, and Istanbul, tying those together with Sencha's JavaScript expertise into a powerful, cohesive testing platform. Everything is included and supported so you can get started right away. Regardless of whether you're just starting your testing effort or you have an extensive library of tests, Sencha Test will help you reduce the effort of adding new tests and streamline testing cycles. Assume that I'm a test automation engineer testing our dashboard application, which uses XJS. I've been asked to test the add new task capability. If a user clicks the green plus button, it should add the text from the add new task text field to the to-do list above. Once that item has been added to the list, the text field should be cleared. Sencha Studio is the front-end application for Sencha Test and is the interface used to create and execute tests and to review testing results. Tests are ultimately just JavaScript files, and other editors and IDEs may be used if desired. In Sencha Studio, first create a new workspace for these tests. I'm going to put them in a new directory, but in other circumstances, it might make sense to place them alongside or within the application source tree. Since the tests are simple JavaScript, they're easy to manage in source control. Since the workspace is new, initialize the test project. Specify the URL for the application to test and accept the default test framework of Jasmine, which is the most popular JavaScript testing framework. I'm running the test application locally, but it could just as easily be elsewhere on the network or even in the external internet. Add a new test scenario. The scenario shows up in the workspace so that it can be run. The middle pane controls the built-in test runner and lists all of the browsers installed on the current machine as detected by Sencha Studio. The Sencha runner makes it easy to verify correct behavior in multiple environments by running tests in parallel across any or all of these browsers. But first, a test must be created. When the test project was created, Jasmine was chosen as the framework, so the new test uses Jasmine syntax. Existing tests from modern releases of Jasmine can be used within Sencha Test with minimal changes and easily extended to benefit from Sencha Test's rich reporting capabilities and supported integrations with XJS, Selenium WebDriver, Istanbul for code coverage, and more. The new test suite contains a simple Jasmine test stub which always passes. Jasmine tests are written in standard JavaScript, so there's no need to learn a new language or syntax for testing. To test that to-do items are added correctly, Add a new it block, which tests that the new task appears in the list. Instead of coding up the rest of the test, the event recorder can build the test case interactively. This is especially useful for complicated end-to-end -end tests and for cases where the tester may not be familiar with the application source code. Start the event recorder. Tell it which browser to watch. Give it a few seconds to launch and create the connection. Then add a new to-do. Sure enough, the new item appears in the to-do list. Things seem to be working as expected. The recorder captured all of this, which must be inserted into the test suite. The test suite now contains the events that were recorded from the browser, including key presses and taps. Of course, the recorder has no way of knowing what's expected, so add a small function to verify that the correct text was added to the list. This tap event corresponds to selecting the new element. It already has the right target element, so replace the tap event with a validation function. The recorded code selects the appropriate target item, and the new function verifies that node contains the expected text. Recording events is just one way to create tests, which is obviously convenient. Users can also just write the code for tests, especially for relatively simple cases such as unit tests. When adding a new item to the to-do list, the text field containing the description should be cleared after adding the item. Add another test to address this need. Thankfully, the recorder captured the locator for the input field, which is just copied here. Using a stable selector ensures that the correct field would be used regardless of whether the browser uses the classic or modern toolkit or the screen geometry forces an unexpected layout. The tester doesn't need to worry about how the DOM is rendered. Now that the tests are written, they just need to be run. Open the scenario, 
and select a browser to test. This opens Safari connected to Sencha Studio for testing. The Run Selection button actually runs the tests. The red number indicates the number of tests that failed. To understand which tests specifically, expand the test scenario in Suite. Everything looks good, except the Should Clear New Task field test fails because there's apparently a bug that prevents the field from getting cleared. We'll report that to the developer for a fix. Testing on multiple browsers is just as easy. Simply select a few more browsers when running the test. Note how the matrix formatting in rollup rows makes it simple to understand testing status. Running tests on remote browsers, such as a phone, tablet, or other machine on the network, is just as easy. Simply connect the appropriate browser to Sencha Studio's test subject URL. Browsers from in-house virtual machines or external providers, such as Sauce Labs, can also be leveraged directly from the same browser list. The browser list is managed in the Browsers pane. Adding remote browsers is as simple as adding them to the list. By testing multiple browsers in parallel, testing cycles can be shortened, leading to faster releases. Sencha Test is obviously streamlined for application and test development workflows, but it's also very well suited for test automation and continuous integration workflows. Sencha provides out-of-the-box integration with popular platforms, such as Jenkins and TeamCity, and provides a command line interface for running tests which can be used from pretty much any open source, commercial, or homegrown testing platform. To ensure testing results remain accessible and understandable, the Sencha Test Runner makes it easy to view historical testing results using the full power of Sencha Studio. Even for simple cron-driven tests, users can quickly drill down to the matrix view to understand which browsers and tests are failing. Thank you for spending a few minutes of your time learning about how Sencha Test can help testers more effectively and efficiently test Sencha applications. To learn more and try it for yourself, please start a free trial from our website.